Singer and songwriter Grams Morgan, living in Ghana for a spell, has reconnected with his ancestors following the DNA results that proves he is 52% Ghanaian, precisely a Gadangwe. Introducing himself to the chiefs and elders of the community as tradition demand with two bottles of schnapps and some money, he indicated that he is aimed at building a bridge between his ancestral home and those in the diaspora. Yes. The second. May strength be unto you, all of my elders of your son. Thank you for inviting me into this royal family. It was many years ago I was on tour in Europe and something said to me, go to Ghana. I didn't ask myself why, I just went. I didn't know anyone when I came to this land. I've been to many parts of Africa, but it was my first time in Ghana. And since coming over here now eight years, I have found the royal family in Pese. The traditional of that we have in, in Jamaica, I see that it is very similar. As I look all upon you, I see the faces of my uncles and my brothers. I have many things to offer to the Da community and the kingdom. I ask for your blessings and your prayers and your strength to strengthen me as I go out amongst the world, to bring back home to the God kingdom, to help build, to help develop. I say to my friends, ask not what Africa can do for you, but what you can do for Africa. For me, the country of Ghana. Most recently, I have even went as far as technology and science to check my DNA. And when I went and found out, I am 52% Ghanaian. So, these are the things when I met Ni Osobu and the Epesa royal family that I want to bring to the Ga kingdom. Technology, development, even with my brother Shatawale, as a Ga bloodline, son of the soil, we have spoken about what we can do. I have even shared with Ni Osobu and the Congo. When I saw the vision on the water to build a place called New Accra. So I pray that our ancestors will give me the strength that I may go out as a chief of development to build this kingdom called the Ghan Kingdom. So I pray for your strength as I go on a journey. Tomorrow I'm releasing a brand new album where I'm uniting 11 countries across the continent of Africa. The Recording Academy in Los Angeles, California, which is called the Grammys. They are expecting great things. I ask for your prayer and your blessings as tomorrow is a great day for Africa in music. Thank you for having me. With a warm embrace, the Gaman King Takiteko Churu II welcomed him as one of their own. He wished him success in his endeavors and blessings for his family. He further mentioned that his arrival, he believes, will make Gadabi a better place. So many people who are lost today, in the world all over. You have found your roots today. We shall thank God, Allah, El Salasa, and all. What I want to tell you right now is that as you present your music to the world, as you have been able to define yourself as a Gadangu or a Gan, 52% of your DNA being Ghanaian is a real proud effort. Because being Ghanaian is not cheap at all. How much more being a Gadangu? The sons of this one. The royals with great strength and heritage. That's what we present to you. The people who have invaded our cities and have turned our reality to what you see today. I want you to preach out there that our children have a right to live. They have a right to a clean environment. They have a right to good health. They have a right to education. Education, education, education. That they are able to compete locally 
and internationally with your compatriots. But this is a message that I want you to take out there. New narrative as you want to build a new Accra. So we employ you. Come and partner with the students and let the sun shine again. Thank you.